So today we're gonna discuss al al almost same problem which I have discussed earlier, but many of my viewers have not understand that question well. So I have found this question also, and I will try my best to make this question understand well. So the question is on game theory as well as on DP. Predict the winner. So you are given an array of scores of non-negative integers, as you can see in the input, and now two players are playing a game. In which the player one picks one of the number from either of the sides of the array, whatever side he can want. So let's assume that the player one can choose. Uh, let's assume like two. Now the next player can have the choices of one and five, so it can choose five, or the player one then can choose one. So now they will choose alternatively, and what will happen? They will add up the score, the total number of points they have taken out from the array. Now, given the array of scores, predict whether the player one will be the winner or not. If both the players try to play it optimized or try to win the game, okay. So I have written down the code, but first move down to the drawing board to make it more clear. I have written down this example. Now, because why it is a DP problem and we cannot make it greedily, because if it is a greedy problem, let's assume that there there is some five here. And then there is like some ten here. Then there is some hundred and two. Now the if it if it we just do it greedily, then we will check that we have two options: whether we can take five, which is at the last, or ten, which are the two things which are on the edges of the array. Okay, so as we can see that ten is the maximum, we will take out ten. But if we take out ten, uh, then what will happen? That okay. So let's assume that ten is here. Ten. This is fifteen. Let's assume that. Okay. Now because we say that because fifteen is greater, we will take out fifteen. But now if we take out fifteen, then we will make our opponent uh, like take out hundred. And if the opponent take out hundred, then he will win definitely because hundred is the maximum. So we don't want to take out greedily from whichever is. The maximum on the sides just take out that because it can lead to a case in which our opponent will win. Okay, so we have to optimizely take out the numbers from the ends such that we can win. Okay, so what will happen that we will take out ten. If we take out ten, then our player has a chance of fifteen and two. Okay, if our player take out fifteen, then we can take out hundred. Or else also if our player take out two, then also we can take out hundred. So in both of the cases we will win. Okay, so this is the this is the trick or this is the technique we will do. So what we'll do, we will take this whole array and we want to maximize our score and this is our one objective with respect to our game. Our objective is such that we take out the score such that my score is maximized as well as the opponent's score is minimized. Okay, though everyone is playing the game, but with respect to one player. The one player wants that my score should be maximized and the other score should minimize. That's what the main target is. So the target here is we will take out the scores, or we we will make a particular state such that in the particular state I am the winner and the other player is in losing state, or the other player is such that he will not get a large amount of score. So if we take out ten. Then our player, the other player has two options: either whether it can take out fifteen or two. Whichever he can take out, he will make our way open to hundred, and that's why we will. Win. So our thing is, what we can do, we can do is recursively. We can make two pointers: one point to the starting of the array, and other point to the end of the array. Now there are two chances: the first chance is mine, the second chance is the other player chance. Now, if it is my chance, I have two options. I can take out the first, and the size of the array decreases down to this now, or I can take down the last, and the size of the array decreases down to this, as you can see. Now, for this array, the other player will move. Now, the other player will take out some things such that it can take out the first element and make the array look like this. Or it can take out the last element and make the array look like this. And now it is a my chance. I can take down the first element or last element or the last element and the first element, and 
this will go on okay so that's the whole trick we can use two pointers one at the start and one at the end and recursively see that what is the best option in such that whenever i take out some of the end elements my score is maximized and the opponent score is minimized so let's move down to the code to make it more clear this is the predict winner function in which there are two variables one and two two is the second player total score and one is my total score so the first player wants to maximize its score so the first player i have written down this okay function which will calculate the maximum score for the first person now if we know the maximum score the first person can attain how can we find out the maximum score for the next person it is the total score because there is a total number of score if we know the total score and we subtract out the maximum score the first player can get we can get the maximum score or the rest of the amount the second player will get i hope you understand so what we will do we will first find out the total sum of the whole array and also we will find out the maximum score for the first player now what we'll do we will subtract the the maximum score for the first player from this total amount and this is the second player score if the first player is greater than or equal to 2 then the answer is yes that the first player will win else the answer is no now how this okay function will work this okay function will take two three variables actually it it take the zero which is the starting index of the array which marks the end elements these two elements zero index and this is the n minus 1 index okay so this is the n minus 1 index so what we will do this is zero n minus 1 and zero depicts what is the chance if this chance is zero which means it is the first person chance if it is one it is the second person chance now in this okay function if i is greater than j it means that we have gone that the that the two pointers have overlapped and has crossed each other then it is an invalid state and for that state we return zero okay now if it is the chance zero in which it means that it is the first person chance then the answer is we will find out the maximum because we are talking about the first person the first person strategy is to maximize his score and minimize the opponent's score so we will find out what is the maximum state we will check that if we take the first element from the from the ith point plus we will again call the okay function because we have taken the ith element the array size will reduce down to i plus 1 to j if i have taken the ith element the array size will re reduce down to i plus 1 to j else we can take the jth element and then our array size will reduce down to i till j minus 1 okay so it will reduce down to i till j minus 1 okay and in whatever is the maximum of this will return else if n also we will flip the chance because now we have taken the chance of the first player now the, it is the second player chance and for the second player state we will just find we, because we we are finding out for the first player we will add the score because we are finding out the total score for the first person what is the maximum score that first person can get but for the second person chance the the total score is not adding why because we are calculating for the first person if you also add the number for the second person then it will be mingle up so what we'll do for the first person chance only we will add this score and when it is the second person chance we will just move our pointer without adding the score because we are not care about what that person take whatever the minimum of both of these state is this only state will take whether he will take this ith element and the size reduce down to i plus 1 and the again the chance flips or he will take the i minus 1 element and the chance flip but we don't take the nums here because we don't want to add this sum to the total and here we just take out the minimum of both of them because for the first person we want to maximize his score and minimize the opponent's score but i uh, like if you compile this i have compiled it earlier as you can see without because we are just doing it recursively the total run time is 616 millisecond but if we just put down memoization here then you can see that i have actually compiled it the run time just becomes 0 millisecond so what does this state that memoization is very important so for memoization what we will see that what are the characteristics which defined a states which are the points which defined a particular state the particular state in this function will be defined by i j and chance because nums remain the same 
I and J defines the endpoints of the array and chance define what is the chance of the person. So what we will do, we will make a DP array. You can also make a long long DP. And now because we have three states and the size of this can go up to maximum of 20. Okay, so I make like a 22 element just for buffer 22, 22 and the chance can be 2, 0 and 1 and thus I make it of 0 and 1. Okay, now what we will do, we will initialize this whole DP array with minus 1 because we don't have any answer. So what we will do, we will mem set it DP minus 1 size of DP. Then what we will do after this, we will check that if the particular state for if any particular state we have calculated the answer earlier or not. If we have calculated the answer, we will just return it from the memoize table which we have calculated. So if dp of ij and chance is not equal to minus 1, which means that we haven't cal we have calculated it earlier. If it is minus 1, we haven't calculated. If it is calculated earlier, if it is not minus 1, we will return this. We will return this only. I will copy it down because I have to use it again. Return this. If we haven't calculated down, what we will do in this return function only, just write it down and whenever we are returning, just whenever we are returning this value, before returning, store this value in the DP array. And we will do the same here also. And that's it. You just have to make a DP array and add the return statements just before returning, store the returned answer in the DP array. And that's the simple trick or the simple two, three lines you have to add to just increase the speed of this code from like from 611 millisecond to 0 millisecond. You can also compile this and the answer is 0 millisecond. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts, please mention now. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.